Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Bethany and this is actually my first video. So huge welcome to you guys. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about how I deal with stress and some revelation I've kind of had with stress recently. Um, and also if you do end up liking this video, could you just like it down below and subscribe and make sure you click the little bell notification as I will be posting videos every week, at least once a week, maybe twice. Um, I would greatly appreciate it as you help me grow my channel. Um, this channel will be dedicated to mental health, fitness, and a little bit of fashion or thrifting or any of those kind of things. So today, like I said, I will be talking about anxiety and stress as that is something that I greatly deal with in my life. So I guess I can get, I can just tell you about my stress first. Um, I don't really have anything written down. I just like to impromptu things. So, um, I have been an anxiety woman for my entire life. Like I remember having issues sleeping as a child. I always thought someone was coming after me. Something was coming after me. I was extremely fearful. Um, I was just very, very, very fearful and had a lot of anxiety. I was always scared of what people thought about me. I would get embarrassed really easily. I was actually a follower back then and I'm more of a leader now and I'll get into that. Um, and I really just had a hard time, um, like, even like, I would get so nervous, like this is an example, I guess, when I was like a little, little kid, so I'd get so nervous, like my friend was like, hey, Bethany, do you want to come stay the night when I was like 10? I would get so nervous because I had to ask my mom and it would take me all day to ask my mom if I could go to my friend's house, which is like ridiculous because she usually always said yes. Um, and she always knew I was stressed out about it. So, I mean, I've had like anxiety since I was basically created. Um, and also I am a type six and I just realized this, um, that I am a type six on the Enneagram, um, personality test type kind of thing, which means that I am like what I do and what motivates me is my fears and my stress. So, um, it is just been a huge part of my life and I didn't realize I had anxiety until last year or actually no about two to three years ago I don't know what I'm saying but two to three years ago um, I started college and I've always been really stressed in school so just to preface that I just didn't realize that was what was going on um, in college I started my freshman year and I had some things going on and like family issues and I like was so stressed I couldn't sleep I couldn't eat I was just like I felt like a tense ball like I was like this all the time and I just felt so ridiculous and so crazy for like three years I broke it on a I broke out in a stress rash that year I felt like I could never breathe and I still feel like that a lot but I felt like I could never ever breathe or ever get my words out there and just say what I wanted to say because I was so, so stressed about it. And I was so stressed about making good grades and being the best and being an overachiever and being OCD and all the stuff. So now that I have really realized what is wrong and after two to three years of me thinking, oh, I'm just like this, like screw it, this is who I am and I need to be just, I'm just stressed, like, that's just what I am, and, like, I'm okay with it, but I'm gonna fight it, like, freaking hell to, like, to, you know, to try to eliminate it, but it's not gonna get eliminated, because it's part of my personality, and I guess some things that I wanted to share, because I know that anxiety and stress is so common, and I'm only 21, so I know, like, other people my age, they are, like, just like me, like, always stressed, there's always something to be scared about anxiety, fear, because anxiety just comes from being fearful of something not going right. And you thinking of these worst case scenarios that are 99% not going to happen. Let me just say that right now. So what I do when I'm stressed, it's not, it's like some days are better than others. So on a day when I'm really on top of it and I'm like, okay, I'm going to like fix it. Like I'm not going to fix it, but I'm going to just accept it and move on. I pretty much just tell myself that if I wake up and I feel that like, oh my God feeling like my heart is going to explode, 
I go into the mirror and I look at myself and I kid you not and I say, you can do this, you've got this, this day is just one day and it's not going to determine your future. Like this is just one day and it's just like any other day. There's no reason to be stressed, okay? And that helps a lot, just that in itself. <laughs> the second thing is I don't drink coffee. I don't drink caffeine or coffee because for me, when I'm already high anxiety, when I drink that stimulant, I, like my anxiety, which most people with anxiety are like this, goes through the roof. Like I could literally just like die that day because I'm like, oh my God, what if this and what if that and what if this and what if that? It's like I put extra gasoline on the fire that I'm already fueling. So it's even worse. Okay, so that's the second thing that I do. The third thing is I put myself in a reality check. I'm like, look, okay, is the likeliness of any of these worst case scenarios actually going to happen? Like say if I'm having a bad day at work, I do Instacart right now, which is something I'll get into eventually, but I do Instacart right now and say I don't make what I wanted to make and I start freaking out because I'm like, oh my God, I have a car note. I've got to pay for this, pay for that, pay the bills at my house. Like we're going to do all this stuff. I'm like, okay, realistically, no, because I have someone else that like we co-support each other and I don't have to do this alone. I have parents that care about me. I can, you know, uh, tomorrow could be like 10 times better than today with my work because it's very like just... I don't know, you know, it's like waitressing. One day it's great and one day it's not. So it's very unstable. That's what I was trying to say. Um, and so it just comes down to the fact of me being realistic with myself and saying like, these fears are just fears. They're not, more than likely, not going to come true. I even, whenever like someone almost hits me or like something to that degree when I'm driving, I replay that over and over into my head again and I am so scared to drive after that because I'm scared someone's gonna hit me but I keep saying okay the likeliness is small like it could happen this is something that's more realistic to happen but it's less likely to happen and the fourth thing that I do is I reach out to a friend or my husband or my mom or someone that's like really close to me and I just tell them like I like almost every day I text Brandon which is my husband and I'm like hey I am so stressed about this, this, and this, and then he brings it into reality for me. It's good to have, like, a comforter and someone that's realistic whenever you're spiraling. Like, you're just going out of control and you're, like, a crazy person and you're ready to just, like, just go wild, okay, over this thing you're stressed out about. And the fifth thing that I do is I really, usually those days that I'm, like, very, very stressed out, I try to channel that energy somewhere else. I go on a run. I do some kind of craft, I go work out at the gym, um, plan something with a friend. I mentor a kid, so I would mentor, I would like plan something with my um, little brother. Um, just something, you know, hang out with friends from church, like go to a, a, an event. And it gets my mind off of all that, like the world is crashing and burning stuff. And it gets me back into reality. And the thing with anxiety, I just wanted to put this in there, like I'm almost done. But if, if you don't struggle with anxiety, but one of your friends, family members, partners, anything like that does, even a coworker, just understand that what you see as realistic, they don't see that. And they need your love and support to grow and be a better person. And you telling them that this isn't realistic and that like, this isn't gonna happen and this isn't gonna happen and getting mad actually makes it worse. Just tell them like, hey, I know you're really stressed, but everything is going to be fine. Like, I know, like, people say, oh, I'm tired of hearing that. But honestly, it does help. Everything's going to be fine. And be realistic, but don't be condescending about someone else's fears and what their thing is that they're most scared of, okay? Um, I think that is so important. And I know I've had people in my life be like, well, that's not even realistic. Like, you're this and this and this. And I'm like, but to me, it is very realistic, you know. But I do need someone to counteract that, but it's the way you approach it. You have to approach it in a good, sensible manner, or it comes off as you being condescending. And as a takeaway for this video, I just want you to remember that you are never alone in any mental health journey. I struggle with more than just anxiety, which I will get into eventually. I'm very open. I'm an open book. But I just want you to know that anxiety 
stress, all those things, that is not who you are. You're amazing and you're doing something so awesome. And that's why you're so fearful. That's why you're scared of failing because you have got so much potential that you are holding yourself back. Like you are the one that's holding yourself back. No one else is. And you have got so much potential to put into the world that you're holding yourself back because you're so scared. You're so scared. But what is the worst that could happen if you tried to pursue what you're so scared of or what it is that scares you the most? It could be dating. It could be losing weight. It could be I don't know, getting a makeover, it could be changing your style, it could be like just cleaning your house and getting rid of old memories, you know, it could be starting to be going in the right direction for your career. I mean, all of those things have fears attached to them, but you have to separate that from reality and become what it is you want to become and just say that that anxiety is not you, sis. Like, you're good, okay? You might have anxiety, but you can just push it to the side and, you know, it won't go away. But if you if you don't feel it, if you don't say like, oh my God, I'm so stressed, oh my God, what the, what the, what the, like just freaking out, it will eventually subside and you will be able to go on and accomplish that and just be like, I really want to do this, so I am going to do it. Nothing is going to stop me from doing this. And so... If you guys really liked this video, that was pretty much it. I thank you so much for watching if you ended up watching the whole thing. I know it was probably a little long, but I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I really, really have a huge passion for mental health, and I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm just sharing what works for me and what I personally do. Um, you know, what works for me may not work for someone else, but I think it is useful for people. Um, and... You know, if you really liked this, could you just comment below what you do when you're, you know, stressing out and have anxiety or what your biggest fear is if you're okay with sharing that. And just, you know, share and like build a community. That's what this is about. That's why I make this and making this channel. I want to make a safe place for people to come whenever they're stressed out or really just whenever they're feeling down and they can just like come and laugh or come and see something like this that they really need to see. So Thank you so much for watching. Again, like and subscribe down below. Um, my link to my Instagram will be in the bio. I don't do Twitter because I don't do drama. So yeah, um, so I hope you guys have a great day slash night and I will see you next time.